Hey everybody, this is Will with Carolina Thrive Place, and today we are going to be going over a very simple um, project called um, using your Cricut or Silhouette to cut bonded fabric. So what I'm not going to do is show the heat press part, um, but pretty much what I do, and I'm sorry I don't have my microphone, I left the attachment at home, is I'll take some parchment paper, not wax paper, parchment paper, lay it down, material, your heat bond, and then I will, oh, let me put this where it needs to be, then your Teflon sheet on top, and Need to add a little bit more, a little bit more, too much, and I'm pressing it at 350 degrees at roughly 13 seconds. It tends to be a very good um, saturation of the heating bond into it. There's the thing, it's ready. Actually, that's the wrong one. We remove the Teflon. And there we go. We have our bonded fabric. So I'm going to let this cool off so that the glue dries. And right here, you can't see it, but you can actually feel where some of the heating bond saturated through so it's it's better to be on your parchment paper than on your vinyl cutter or not your vinyl cutter on your heat press so we're nice and cool so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to trim this up And I will leave one side, just material, just so that I can easily do this right here. So now I'm gonna take my board and put this on here. I put it fabric side up. Oh, there's glitter in there. So I put fabric side up and we are roughly five inches by seven inches so give me a second while i move the camera since i am not editing these you get to see all of the interesting funds that we go through when we're filming there is my ceiling so I'm gonna bring this down so that you can see. There's the vinyl cutter, my Cricut. <clears throat> I'm gonna remove this. And you see it's got bonded fabric right there. So, bonded fabric we're going to switch to bonded fabric and I'm gonna put this back in here so our size one two three four five by seven we're gonna make this four that works we're gonna make it and we're gonna continue so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cut out a ribbon so once you have it on bonded fabric some people say that you should use a um, bond a bonded fabric um, 
cutter, but this time I'm just using the regular one. And do not use fast speed on this. You do not want to. Just use regular speed. Okay, we're gonna look. It looks like it's cut through. We're gonna remove this part. And technically, there is our fabric cut out. On the sheet of paper and this is going to come up too and you can actually use a little bit less pressure when it comes to this part so that it comes up all together but it's totally up to you Just gonna clean this off real quick and we have our material patch so you since it's got the heat bond on it you can actually go ahead and attach it to some kind of cloth or this could be your applique to sew around and you can do any color with this so that's pretty much it when it comes to um cutting bonded material with your cricut machine today's letter is going to be the letter l on my screen this is l probably on there it's gonna be like that so the letter l for i don't know <laughs> so Thank y'all very much for everything. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think. It, did I overlook anything? Was I too fast? Was I too slow? We're already at seven and a half minutes, so pretty fat, pretty slow. But for such a simple thing, and cutting fabric is easy. And I can't wait to see y'all tomorrow, and love to see what y'all come up with. See, talk to you later. Bye.